Hello everybody, I'm on today to show you guys a gift that I got and stuff I purchased today. First I want to tell you about my weekend. My weekend was fun, okay, it was awesome. My uh, my birthday did go right Friday, my stepdad, you know, he um, came through and everything else. Uh, and then Friday night we came home, and I was going to go down by my stepdad's house for a fire, but I was like, me and my sister looked at each other and were like, mm, nah, we're going to stay here. We were going to come back to the house, but I caught my neighbor across the street. And I'm like, hey, you know, let's go hang out there, you know, see what he's up to. And my sister likes to drink wine, but we, we all drink that hat, rest of that bottle of wine, us three. And we hang out there, but we were, after that we came home, we were so hungry that we looked up this uh, place that delivered 24 hours. Well, we asked, we ordered, made our order, waited for the guy for like almost past an hour, and he said 35 to 45 minutes. It was way past an hour. Called him up, I'm like, uh, where's the food? The guy goes, oh, well, let me call the driver. So I'm on hold for like a good five minutes, him trying to get the hold of his driver. He goes, well, the driver ain't answering. I'm like, well, you know what, just cancel the order. This is bull crap. I said, we'll never order from you guys again. So, while, while before this all happened, while I was waiting outside, I had my dog outside. He saw this big, huge, fat raccoon. And then, the raccoon went between my neighbor's houses and all of a sudden you hear like cat screech on the raccoon, got into a fight with the cat or what. But then here goes Harley barking up a storm and my husband was sleeping. So I was trying to hold on to Harley, have him quiet, tell him to be quiet, try to push, get him inside the house. He made me slip and fall. I hit the side of my chin right here, which I didn't get no stitches, wasn't cut. <sighs> hold on. Anyways, so I slipped, fell down. I hit the side of my chin on my bucket out there that I have flowers in hit my knee on the ground I was really mad I was so I said you know what just forget it I'm going to bed this is bull crap I mean all we needed we wanted something to eat we didn't have really nothing here to eat and we didn't I didn't even barely ate all day I was starving so anyways whatever so uh Saturday we got the party together people showed up but it was just mainly family my neighbor across the street came and mom and my stepdad came it was that was it last year for my my house party my birthday party last year was a heck of a lot better. It was more fun. People were, there was a lot of people here. I think everybody just doesn't care no more that, this is how I feel. People don't care no more that I'm trying to have a hangout with everybody. You know, I'm trying to do stuff. Because nobody comes sees me no more. And it is sad. I'm telling you, nobody, it's sad. But I'm not going to dwell on that. But anyways, Friday, I finally got to see some a person I haven't seen like maybe six months I miss seeing her she was a sweetheart but I had fun this weekend fun but Sunday I paid for it I sat there and I laid there all day <clears throat> but I want to get to the end of this video I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got my in-laws bought me this and it came in a box like this and it's nail polish and it's all from five below that's a card that's from one of my um my stepdad's friends. Okay. This bottle I have not seen from Five Below. I want to go to Five Below and get some more of these. I don't even know the brand it's called. There's no brand on it or nothing. I mean, look at it. No brand or nothing. I don't know. But this is called... Kiss and Makeup. It's... Yes, yeah, Kiss and Makeup. I really think that's pretty bad. I want to get some more of these bottles. So I'm going to try to get myself the five below sometime this week, if that's possible. Okay, I got another. This is uh, Funky Fingers. And this is called... It's a Trap. And the next one is... I can get it out. This one's called... Rot? I think this one's called Rot. Okay, another Funky Fingers. If it would come to me. Oh, my fingernail. This one's called... Pop Rally? Pop Rally. And this has got stars in it. This is packed with glitter. 
trying to see what kind of shapes. Du um, hexagons. Small glitter. That's pretty. It's like a multicolored one. That's what this one has. This has like a little shimmery glitter in it. This has hexagons, circles. I don't know, but I want to get this brand. I want to get some more of these. These little square bottles remind me of square, uh, square hue. Closest I can get to square hue. Um, last one's an LA color, and this is like a oh, this is a gel. I didn't know this. I know LA colors came out with gels. If I like this, maybe I'll get some more LA colors. That's gels. This one's called Flashy. Guess this one's called Flashy. Gel like shine, no UV. Gel is called Flashy. Very pretty. So that's all the polishes she got me. Now, I'm going to show you what I purchased today. If I can get it. Okay, I have a bag from Ulta. I spent a lot of money. I got my Proactive. Now, if you go to Ulta, they have two boxes there. They have a smaller bo a box that has step one, two, and three. <clears throat> this is the full size. And that's what I usually had, the full size. Now, the thing is, if I can get it open. Oh, I got to tell you something else, too. Yeah, that's the full size. That's the original full size. 50, this was 40 bucks. They do charge the same price if you're not a member. Like, you know, if you go look on the book, you have, there's not a member price on there. Yeah. But I got to do what I got to do. My number, first, the first step I bought. Then I found out that Proactive, oh, I just finished telling you. They have three, two sets of three. One's a bigger set that's $110. Then the other one is 50 and it's the smaller size. So I got just the one because I, I already have the two, the step two, the step three I really don't use. Okay, then I always run out of the step three anyways because it's not big enough for me. Then I found Proactive has makeup cleansing wipes. So it's a makeup remover. Yep, makeup cleansing wipes. So I'm happy that Proactive came out with that. Okay, two other things I picked up. Oh, actually, three other things I picked up. This here is, I'm sticking, I'm not really liking my other polish top coat. So I went back to what I went to originally was Jeshvit, which I'm not happy, but what am I, can, what can I do? So I got Jeshvit back. That's done. And then I picked up a uh, setting spray because I'm almost out of my L'Oreal. This is the ND... D Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. So I got this. This is like the, uh, the, um, not the big size, but it's the take along with you trip size, whatever the heck it's called. Traveling size. I wanted to try it out, so I got the traveling size. This was $14. For $14, it better work, because if it doesn't, come on. What the heck is the bottom of this thing? Instructions, really? The instructions open the. You need instructions open the gathering cap and spray. A couple times. How hard is that? <laughs> okay, and I'm trying to find another eyeliner. Okay, I am trying. So this one is. I don't know if I've tried this. This is Urban Decay. Um. Twenty four seven gold one eye pencil. Waterproof eye pencil crayon. Container, I'm going to start going into Spanish. And I got this one in black. What's it called? Yeah. Black, we're going to call it. Because I can't pronounce that word they have on it. And there's another thing I do want to discuss too real quick. If I can get this open. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm not going to swatch it because I want to try it out and stuff. This is what it looks like. And it is a pencil. So I'm going to test this out. We'll see if this stays on. And if it stays on, I will be happy. I will keep this. But other than that, because my other one, I can't even sharpen it. I can't, I gotta find a normal sharpener. Because for some reason that uh, CoverGirl one, oh, it's like annoying. No, it's not the CoverGirl. It's, uh, it's from Sally's Beauty Supply. Didn't work. 
Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to think I'm going to show you. Okay, now I'm going to explain something. I don't know what happened. I really, truly don't. But, uh, what was it? Friday night, maybe? I know it was dark, and I remember it popping off. Oh. Okay, the only way I can think how this broke. This nail broke. The, like, my, the gels ones, this one broke. This is still long. I've been keeping it long. And the thing was, is I was here, over here sitting at a table with my sister. She was going through my quarters because she collects quarters, right? So I let her go through them. So I was sitting, I was opening the bottom of my thing with this nail. All of a sudden, just the nail just came off very easily. So I had to get the rest of it off. Um, oh crap, there's one other thing I want to show you. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I had to get the rest of it off. So like half of it broke off, so I had to get the rest of it right here off. So I used this little thing that I got from Vicky Burge, I think. I think, I might be wrong. But this is to take off your acrylic. It helps take off. This thing works. It works. I like it. It didn't like, you know, like how I usually like pulled off my teeth. It didn't even pull my, like my nails off or anything. I use both ends. I really do like this. Thank you. I appreciate that. And then, so what I did was I went to, I was looking around on my nail treatments. Like, what can I get it where it can stay strong, where it can stay good and stuff like that. So I looked through, I had two julep things to um, help it get it strong so it doesn't bend. I mean, it's like, this is how strong it is. Look. I mean, this is actually staying strong. If I can keep this strong until I can get to a nail place, that's fine. Don't think I'm going to stop getting my nails done because that's not going to work. Because I still want to see if this will last a month. And it pissed me off because I've had these done for only a week. And this one breaks. You know the reason why I think it broke is when I fell. Maybe I bumped it. Didn't even notice it. That's the only reason I think it broke. But this is the Julep. Uh, I forgot because I threw the box away, I think. Julep Oxygen Nail Treatment. Treatment. And then it goes into Spanish. I hate when I do that. And it's in the uh, frosty bottle. And it has worked. I put like two coats on it. I'm fine now. But I'm going to take it off because I'm going to do my nails today. And I'm putting another one on. Two coats of this. And my nail polish. So this is very cool. I am honestly, so far, it's a good recommendation for this. So far. I see how long it lasts. If it helps my nail last this long throughout the whole month without it breaking, I'll be okay. But I don't always like on weekends I'll end up breaking my nails. Maybe because I do more or I'm running around more. I don't know. But I end up breaking my nails on weekends. It's bull. I hate it. So this is my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um I don't know what's going on for tomorrow. Um I honestly I could show you swatches of these uh five polishes I have here. I could do that tomorrow. And then after that I gotta look at my list and see what else I got. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I am still doing my Zoya uh, of the month. Of all the Zoyas of the month, I'm still doing it. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.